let's talk about support libraries in Android and why they are used. So basically, say you have you create an app which is based on a version, say most the most recent version. Um, and what happens is in a month's time, Android releases a bunch of new features with its new API version. Okay. Now you, you are thinking like, how can I include those features in my app, which is of a, you know, earlier API version. So there are two options. Either you can create a new app uh, with the new API level, or you can utilize the support libraries provided by Android. So Android releases, uh, new features in packages okay and these packages are like support libraries so if you have heard of say v4 or v7 support libraries then they are basically addressing a set of new features and the number in these support libraries means that it can be used with that api level or greater so let me give you an example uh, i've written down some text to help you understand better so if you see um, there, there's a question I've addressed, like, what does the number attached to the support library indicate? Like, for example, the V4 support library. So the number means that if you have an app which is built on a number 4 or greater, then you can use this support library. Okay. Um, Android provides pretty good documentation for the support libraries. Um, you have you know you have plenty of material to go through and understand what what each support library includes for example the v7 app compact library that has the you know that has the material design in it basically and that has the action bars in it so say you are using an earlier version of android um, for example 8 9 11 then you can use the v7 to add these features basically which was released much later uh, and similarly there are others like v4 is for example one of the uh, one of the libraries which has the most set of features okay so similarly there's there are a lot of support libraries uh, what we'll do is uh, you'll create a new project uh, with me in in the next lesson and through that project uh, you will understand this in more detail so for now, go ahead and read this documentation. I'll provide a link for this. And you can also read my blog, uh, which will have the text I was just showing you, you know, which has some basic concepts. So hope this gives you an idea about the support libraries. Um, and in the next video, we'll create a new project. Okay.